So after installation, you get an option that says launch ZAMP. And after um, launching it, you get, uh, you get this page. I'll be mentioning a few things on this page and just try to explain some of the important things. Uh, this tab is just a welcome tab that basically gives you a link to other resources. As you get started, there are link here. There are social media links, as you can see, and other things. The folder we might care about later is this open application folder. But for now, we'll leave it. Let's come to manage server tab. You can see that my Apache web server is running well, and it shows that it's running. Uh, you can also view the log. It says uh, my database is not starting off. So one of the reasons why this might happen is my port, my uh, this port is currently occupied. I'm running a Docker application, so I'm going to just uh, stop that. And uh, my port should be free now because the port was occupied with other things. So once I stop this, I should be able to easily start my SQL database from here. So let's try it out. So if you run into this trouble, if Apache is not starting, if something is not starting up, just find out which port is occupying the space, kill the port or change your port. So you can see my SQL database is running now because I stopped that port, I, I freed the port. So we have the two main things that we need for PHP to correctly run on our computer. So let's create our first project. I'm going to my normal project folder. I have a folder on my system that I put projects in. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it start.ng.php, yeah, just so it's clear. And in there, I can add my files. So I'm going to open this up with Atom. Atom is my preferred choice of uh, IDE or text editor for this uh, tutorial. I'm using Atom because a lot of people have been using VS Code, so I wanted I want to show you there are other options. So let's open up the folder we just uh, created now, which is in the project, and this is the folder. I'm going to open that up. The folder is open here, so I need to add a new file to that folder. I'm going to call it index.php. You can see PHP files are saved as .php. To start a PHP code, this is what you need. This is opening tag, <clears throat> opening tag, and this is closing tag. Let's print out the normal thing. Hello world. So this is my uh, PHP code. This is my PHP folder. Now there's going to be a little problem here because. My current folder is outside of my server's root. Every server has a root folder, which is the first contact of the server to any request. So in my case now, that's why I told you we have to come back to that later. In my case, my root folder, you can open, click on this to open up the root folder. This is the root folder of my ZAMP. As you can see, it's inside of the LAMP. Uh, and I'm going to look for my um, HTTP, if I can still remember. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, this is it. HTDocs. So I'm going to bring my project here rather than have it somewhere else. Let me show you what I mean. If I come over to uh, localhost, I get this page. This page is this one right here. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to open up that page. I hope this is not getting too uh, busy because I have a fairly small screen. So I'm going to open up this page. If it's not opening up, uh, let me see how I can do that. I need to open up with this actually. So it's clear, yeah, that's it. So the, con the first contact of uh, my server is the index.php, and I'm basically doing some checks and then send them into the dashboard, which is then um, my dashboard. I'm not sure where my dashboard file is. I'm going to leave that, okay, okay, I have a dashboard here anyway. I have a dashboard here. We're sending this dashboard folder. This is a folder, not a file. 
I'm sorry about that term. I'm going to look for the index here inside this folder, which is going to be the file that opens up each time I get to uh, that page. Let's see what file is that? Where is my browser? That should be the index file. Well, I can't find, okay, this is it. You know, recording is kind of different from when you're working. Things just get lost. Um, okay, so this is my index file. I'll open that up and make it bigger so everyone can see. I'll close this tab here. And I'm going to add edit this. This is just to show you that, uh, of course, you need to ask me for my password because I'm trying to edit an important file. If only I can have my password. All right, so this is just to show you that. See, so I've just edited the title of this landing page. So which means in order for my projects to correctly run, my file should be in here at least. My folder should be in here at least. So let's go and move that folder. I'm going to just drag it over there. So now I have my project in the root of my server. Going to my browser now, I'm going to change this to my project folder name instead of this dashboard here, which is starts ng.php. And as you can see, my hello world is printed out. That is because that's what I have on my index page here. If I edit it and save it um, and refresh this page, did I save it? Or am I editing the wrong thing? All right, right. This is still, this is this is referring to uh, the folder in the other location. As you can see, this is still referring to project starts.ngphp. So I need to reopen uh, the folder in the new location. So I'm going to my root. All right, I'm just going to make it easy for myself and uh, open it up this way. Come here and just drag it here. I mean, there's no point in. Okay, so I'll say edited by me and save that. If I come back here and refresh, that shows it's edited by me. So basic printing out in um, PHP is done with an echo. And actually, we can still do a print. It still works. As time goes on, you will learn um, some of this, some of these things. In PHP, you have to always terminate each line with this semicolon right here. I'm going to refresh this. It still works properly. Uh, print arrow means print raw, which means there will be no formatting on the printed out text. This still works too. So Three ways to print out things on PHP. In PHP is this, and then you can add print out. There are other options, but this is what we'll be looking at just for now. As you can see, we have a basic PHP setup on our system. 